This is Sparse Prime, and I have something. Let's start a battery feel, shall we? And no, I don't have that Captain America and Red Skull and the Hydra Soldiers. So let's begin with the first movie, Iron Man. This is the first connection to the Transformer to the Avengers movie. This begins. When people think, oh, why does, oh, uh, and people think, Tony, wait, that, Tony Stark in the, in the Avengers movie? That's weird, but anyway. And then we have that, after the, the end credits, we had Nick Fury, played by Samuel J. Jackson. And then he said, you want to, I didn't know what he said, but it's something to do with the Avengers, but then we have our second connection. Yes, the Incredible Hulk. Yes, I misspelled the Incredible. But anyway, this is the Hulk movie that we wanted to see. This is how Hulk is Hulk. Just like it, it has Bruce and May. And it is, we have Thunderbolt running around. And he has the grill. And what that Guy, Emerald, Emerald, Emily, Mazaki, whatever. And Quentin Noir, and they found, and all the other stuff. He even has a Redmond set. Bruce picked up a pair of purple pants. <laughs> and from just like, huh? And, and he say, it's Richie. Yes, I remember that line. Yes, I remember a line from the Hulk. Because the Hulk is bad. That Hulk is bad. And, and then we had the leader, little Samuel Stearns. And he was there. And we have. And he, he said. This is beautiful. And no, no, it's not. Yes. Aiden, you will be an abomination. When she did, and he came the Hulk, became the abomination. And then he beat them, and he had the blood, and the Yemery blood. And we all knew he became the leader, because his brain is growing. Until I know what will happen to the end, because it's the Hulk. I didn't mean to have it happen. But anyway, go to the second connection. Iron Man. How does this connect? Tony Stark actually was in the whole movie, so that's right. And second connection? Iron Man 2. I did not see Iron Man 2. Because pretty much it's there. It's there because it had War Machine and some Hammer Troopers, Hammer Drones. Rip Lash was in it, and Jason Hammer, or is it Dutchin Hammer? It's his Dutchin Hammer. And yes, Black Widow, the second fur member of the Avengers. That's also another connection to the Avengers movie. But anyway, then, then we have the second connection. Four. Another movie I did not see, but anyway... This is an it is us. He fans million for me. Well, he's a god of thunder. Uh, yeah, we all knew he has a brother named Loki. Uh, yeah, he, we all knew he has a, a father. We all knew one of his his father. But, but, but Thor is a god of thunder. Again, I didn't see the movie, so. I know he has a lot of that Guardians and Frost Giants and and the guy named Destroyer. I didn't know about much about four, but not much about the four. I don't know much about four, but I never seen the movie, so I that that's that's the only connection I didn't see. Iron Man two and four. So let's 
throw around a magical hammer and lightning bolt, and we have Captain America, the first Avenger. And yes, I did see that movie, and it's pretty good. Again, it take place in the forties, which is all the other movies were take place in today's standards, take in modern day, and full Captain America. It, then it's okay. The professor talking to the guy and say, "Well, you talking to Steve and that, and we know what I thought. You mean we as Red Skull is awesome." Then we all knew. I know the origin story of Captain America. Everybody knows the origin story. Guy, take little skinny Steve Rogers. Put in his big, well, something, and put, reject him with some stronger. And he went from bony, squirrely, and bony to big and buff. And this story is rich. And, yeah, and plus, my lamp has fell. And it almost scared me, but anyway, it's still there. And yes, you hear. Oh, I mean, and yeah. Pretty scary to have a lamp on. Yep. But anyway, yeah, I'm really scared. I don't want to get this on fire, but anyway. Keep it rich. Many people say there's human torch references I'm in our, in Cat America. I didn't see any human torch references. I don't see a Stan Lee cameo anywhere. Yeah. I didn't see any cameras of Stanley, but anyway, of course, in the end movie, we all knew that that Steve was in modern day time, modern times, and so Nick Fury, eh, he's on his, I'm not spoiling the end of the movie, but basically, he said something to do with things. Yep. And we got the final. Also, four has another Avenger connection. We have Hawkeye, but anyway, into the final one, the Avengers. This movie will be cool and will be cool because it has gods, irons, gods, soldiers, archers. Dudes with armor! Guys with bosses! Big ring guys! Gurds from other countries! Gurds! And I mean, the Cheetah Changer was good. You did see Yarky in his clothes, standard movie clothes. Which I will get him over there, but nah. This is when we have the connection. You know, Iron Man is 2000, Iron Man and Hulk is 2008, Iron Man is 2010, and Captain America 4 is 2011, and this movie will be in 2012. And if Iron Man 2 was in the 2009 release, and Captain America 4 got in 2010 release, and Captain America got the 2011, that can fit perfectly, but we don't do that in the movies. Plus, we got that Wolverine movie for your Marvel fans. Yep. Pretty much this, this is the connection. Yep. About a year, about 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011. About five years in the making, we got an Avengers movie. No, actually, four years in the making. We got an Avengers. Five years. Technically, it is five years, but we're getting an Avengers movie. So, if you don't care about the Avengers, and you don't care, care about the Avengers movie, Yes, he does. 
Will you? But anyway, this is my friend, Sam. Joe, Sam.